Okay guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Well, actually this is more of a a uh, question and answers type of thing. We're going to go over all the issues people were having with the voice meter. So we're going to do this in priority of how important or how um, annoyed people were. So the first thing people were saying is that they couldn't hear anything on the computer and they were worried that I'd broken their computers entirely. This is not true. If you cannot hear any sound from your computer and you don't want to use virtual audio meter, you just want to go back to your old computer, you don't want to do any of this anymore, just go ahead and set your microphone and your headset as your default devices again. Just set them as your defaults and then you will be able to hear sound like you used to be able to hear sound, no issues. There shouldn't be any issue like that. The second issue a lot of people were having was that they were rather, they couldn't hear anything, um, They their friends were hearing themselves and all sorts. Let's go over everything and make sure all of your settings are correct. I'm going to grab everything onto my screen right now and we're going to make sure all of your settings are correct and why they need to be this way. So let's quickly do this. Wait for ESP soundboard to open up and then we will go over them all one by one. Here all the programs are side by side. So let's start from the left and slowly move over. So on ESP soundboard, you need to have cable input as the first output. That's all you need to do on this. We're going to minimize it. On sound, you need to make sure virtual voice meter output is your default recording device and you need to make sure voice meter input is your default playback device make sure you're not making cable input or cable output your default devices it has to be voice meter if voice meter isn't here make sure you show disabled devices by clicking this button and that's all you need to do in this finally is voice meter so let me describe some stuff First of all, A and B is A means that you can hear it and B means that everyone else can hear it. So if B is not enabled, people cannot hear it. So if it's not enabled for your mic, no one can hear your microphone. So make sure to enable B for your microphone. Enable B for the soundboard. And if you want to hear the music from the soundboard, also enable A. Now, if you're having an issue with people being able to hear the sound in your computer, Try and disable the B right here and make sure it's just the A that is enabled. That could be your issue with people being able to hear all of your sound on your computer and not just your microphone and the soundboard. So because this is what your computer sound is right here. So that should be your setup. As far as up here goes, it should be WDM and then your mic, your headset, your earphones. This one will set itself automatically. This one should be WDM, then cable output. And this one should be your microphone, WDM, and then your microphone. And that is all you need to do in this device. Make sure all of these are zero decibels. And that is everything. I believe that's all the questions people had about this. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments of this video and I will reply to every comment as long as it doesn't get crazy like the last video. And I will see you guys in the next video we do.